you stopped in and checking out the video. I hope you enjoy. I hope you have an amazing Friday and a great weekend. An even better weekend. So this just kind of popped up out of nowhere. I know it's almost 12 a.m. Eastern time, but you know what, it's Friday night, I don't care. Most people are still probably up chilling, you know, doing their thing. Well, I went and bought somebody's Pokemon collection tonight, and then on the way home, you know, since I had such bad luck with yesterday's stream and the packs that we opened, the 10 packs that we opened were horrible. Um, when I left my one of my local suppliers, there was a ton of cards left. So on my way home from buying said card collection off of this young lady tonight, I stopped to my local supplier again, and they happened to have just, just four two-packs left. So I grabbed them. That's why I've got this pop-up quick little uh, live stream here. We're not going to beat around the bush. We're not going to wait. We're not going to do too much. People can catch it in the replay. We're going to open these cards. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's open pack number one, baby. So just as a quick reminder, we have on one side the sun and moon pack and on the other side we have the sun and moon crimson invasion pack let's do it cracking the first pack without further ado i've been waiting for hours now to open these up and i'm sure i'm sure that we should have better luck than we had yesterday i really don't think that the card luck gets much worse than yesterday's batch so who knows, this could be the best batch yet, or the worst batch yet. That's the fun part about it. You open them up, you find out. Jesus, this one was being difficult, man. I think this box might have been hiding something good because shit was difficult to open, okay? You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're gonna start out with the standard sun and moon, pack number one. Let's crack this bitch. Let's crack it. Lord Zero, are you here? I'm kind of waiting for you, because we do this together, you know. Are you here, sir? Kind sir. Pack number one, Sun and Moon is ready to be torn open as soon as I see that you're in the chat. I assume you probably are. Hello? No? Maybe? Yes? No? Okay. There he is. All right, cool, cool, cool. I was waiting for you, man. This is our thing, you know? This is our thing. So I already did the... Bubble, I'll get off it. I already did the description. We are opening pack number one of Sun and Moon. Here we go. Once again, major shout out to Mr. The One and Only Mass Otaku for showing me the correct way to open these packs without doing damage to your possibly amazing cards. So... Once again, shout him out for that. Let's see what pack number one of Sun and Moon has waiting for us. We start out with a side duck. We always get the familiars in the beginning, as you guys know. Ooh, this camera's looking good right now on these cards. I think we might have a nice card to look at here soon, hopefully. So we get Mr. Side Duck, we move on to a bound suite. The little radish looking dude. One of the little radish looking dudes. There's many of them in Pokemon. Then we move on to a Lily Pop. Looks like a puppy peed on a flower one too many times. <laughs> I know that was terrible. Not bad though, but terrible. We have a Dratini. We're almost to the first foil card of the stream. Tiffaholic. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping in. How you doing? Thank you for that like. I like you too. I appreciate the kind words and the compliments. All right. So 
After Dratini, we have a Wingall. Here's our Wingall. And here comes the first foil card of the stream. What do we have? We get a foil trainer, a Pokemon catcher. Kind of cool, actually. I'm not gonna complain. It is only pack number one. We do have eight packs, remember. So that's our first foil. Question is, what's underneath the foil? Because the card underneath the foil is the one that you're most worried about. That's the most important card. Let's see what we got in the first pack. Underneath our foil card, we have... Now that is what I'm talking about, baby! That is what I'm talking about. So behind our first foil card, we have a Stage 2. Solgaleo GX. Check out this awesome card that is now added to my collection. Boom! I like it. I like it a lot. It's beautiful. Such nice artwork. This is only pack number one, ladies and gentlemen, and we already pulled a beautiful GX. I am much happier right now with this pull already than I was with last night's. That's a beautiful card. Sweet. We get an energy. We get a Toracat stage one. Slightly uncommon. Toracat stage one, ladies and gentlemen. It's a cool looking Pokemon. I like it. We get a Trainer Potion. I'm sure everybody's pretty much familiar with those, unless you're brand new to Pokemon like this guy. Trainer Potion. We get a Trumbeak. Hypersonic, what's going on, dude? Good evening, it's going good. How are you, my friend? Thanks for stopping in. Happy Friday, everybody. And that is the end of pack number one, so you know what? That may be the best pack that we get. But maybe not. Maybe our luck has changed tonight. We got seven more packs. Pack number one was awesome. I mean, it was very good. We got a foil trainer. Kind of a neat one. Kind of a neat one. But more importantly, we got this bad boy right here. A real work of art. What do you think of that, Hypersonic? That is the first GX card I have pulled out of a pack like it. Okay, moving on. Pack number two. I gotta, gotta drink some water here. Gotta have some water. <sighs> Probably have to pee like a racehorse in about a half an hour, but that's okay. Okay, on to pack number one of Crimson Invasion. Crimson Invasion. Let's do it. The Mastotaku opening approach once again. Perfect open. A lot of these are going to be new because I've only opened a few packs of these so far. I think three or four packs of these is all I have in the collection. All right, so we get a swap blue first. I have kind of have a good feeling about this pack too for some reason. I have a good feeling about all these packs. That's our first Pokemon in the Crimson Invasion series. Next but not least, we have a Spoink. I know I already have Spoink. That's a name that once you hear it, you're not going to forget it, more than likely. Spoink. Next. Ooh, that's nice. That's new. A Chime Echo. A little different kind of art, too, it looks like on this card, even though it's a common card. Time echo. Like it. Oh boy, you're wild. Calm down. It's late. Oh, there's a familiar face. Jigglypuff. I don't believe I had Jigglypuff in the last batch, so that's a new one for this set. And our first foil card will be right after this execute. 
another original Pokemon execute. Are you ready for the next foil card? Because this guy is ready for the next foil card. But the important question is, are you ready for the next foil card? Let's find out what the next foil card is. Let's get it. We have foil card number two. Ooh. Not bad. We have a stage one Starmie. Uncommon. I like it. I like it. That's a nice looking little foil card. Hello, War 2 Gaming. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping in. So I like the Starmie, but... Once again, the question is... Are you ready to see what's behind the foil card? I'm ready. Let's find out. We have... Dun, 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 dun. It's a common star me. It's alright though. I mean, with the card we got in the first pack, can't really complain. Common star me. Jack Dunn! What's going on, dude? Thanks for stopping in. Welcome, brother. Happy Friday to you. We have an energy, we have a Kakuna. Kakuna is an original Pokemon. We have a mill tank. Looks like a cow or something. And we have a trainer, Psychic Memory. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty neat looking, one of the better looking trainer things I've seen. And that should be it for the pack. It is indeed. Okay. So we're on to double pack number two. Let's crack it. Moving right along. We've been on 12 minutes. Okay. Should be able to knock this out within like 40 minutes. Go to bed. I gotta be up early. My first day of garage sale season is tomorrow. So I might... I might, ow, 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 I just ripped open an old wound. Um, I might find some old Pokemon cards tomorrow, who knows, maybe some old Japanese ones. I mean, the possibilities literally are endless because I'm just that damn good at what I do. And that's not bragging, that's facts, baby. Take it how you want or leave it how you want. But I got the merchandise to back that shit up. You know what I'm saying? So, anyhow, anywho. Oh shit, I never even took my pen out of the first pack. I gotta take the pen out. I'm gonna have so many of these pens. You get a pen with every two pack, I'm gonna have like freaking 20 of them. I already probably have eight. I almost threw this one away though. That would have been a horrible, horrible waste. This one here. Okay. On to pack number two of Sun and Moon. The first Sun and Moon was a very successful pack. Let's see if uh, pack two follows it up. I wonder how these get distributed into the packages. If, you know, into the two, the double pack. I wonder if they're the, the same packs right off the line, one right after the other. Or if, like, they just end up in, like, a random bin and just get, like, thrown in randomly. You know, I don't know. What is that? Is that a Ratatata? Wow, Ratatata is an original Pokemon. Okay. If I can open this pack, this pack's being difficult too. That was a good thing in the, for the first pack though. So we got Ratatata. They made Ratatata look a little bit more badass, I would say. I think Ratatata also was purple in his original form. I could be wrong, it's been a long time. Ratatata, moving on. We have a sand dial, little crocodile looking mofo crawling around the desert and shit. You see him? Look at him. He's kind of adorable. He's probably harmless, but you know, it could be an ankle biter too, so you better watch out. Okay, next we have a pick a pack. Once again, this is probably 
our relative of a woodpecker. I'm just guessing. It's not based on appearance or name or anything, though. Bubba, you're making a random appearance in the Pokemon stream. That's my Pokemon right there. He's a real Pokemon. His name is Bobo, and yes, it is because of the movie. I'm a huge fan. We have a Spearow. Spearow is another classic Pokemon. And then we have a Fomantis, and I believe our next foil is the next card. I may have lost count, though. It could be two cards away, but I think it's the next one after Fomantis. Let's find out. The next foil card is. Oh. Okay, nothing too spectacular. But hey, it's a foil card. They look nice, right? So we got a grubbin. This dude's just grubbing around, man. You know? He's a slacker. What else do you want? At least he's honest. He doesn't beat around the bush. You don't make him no bullshit. He's a slacker. He's cool with it. Jelly Lord! What's going on, Jelly Lord? How you doing? Thanks for stopping in. Happy Friday, my friend. Welcome to the stream. Have any luck tonight? I have had okay luck so far. We're on our third pack. The second pack was meh, nothing really. The first pack, I got a pretty awesome card. I'll show you in a second. So that was Grubbin. But the question is, what's underneath Grubbin? Do we get our second legendary card of the night? Do we get any more legendary cards tonight? I don't know. Let's find out. Underneath Grubbin, we have... A lantern. A freaking lantern, man. When you see yellow on the border, you pretty much know it's a normal card, unless it's a holographic. I have not gotten a holographic yet tonight. I was hoping this was a holographic, but it's not. It's a lantern. Well, you know, if nothing else, at least it'll, like, help you see in the darkness or some shit. You know? Better than nothing, right? Okay, moving on. We got an energy card. We got a trainer crushing hammer. Looks like the Fortnite version of Thor's hammer. I must break you. Then we have a charge a bug. What the? Okay, that's an interesting one. Probably a slightly uncommon card. Charge a bug. <laughs> He likes to get physical and charge you. He's charge a bug. Look at them teeth, man. Looks like some kind of like stainless steel trap door or some shit. Okay, anyways, moving on. We have a dragon air, which I actually showed this dragon air already a few minutes ago, and it's a common card, so we're gonna skip that one and move on to our second pack of Crimson Invasion. But first, a brief timeout. We're going to show Jelly Lord our new badass GX card that we have acquired in our collection. This is a very nice addition I'm very happy to have. This alone makes the eight packs worth it, pretty much. Honestly, if you get one of them, you can't really complain too much unless you got like 20 packs and you only get one of them. Then that's some bullshit. But that's our the GX card that we got tonight so far. We're almost halfway done, though. We're in the fourth pack right now. We're about to be in the fourth pack. So I'm ready for another good card, hopefully. Let's see what we get. We're 19 minutes in. We're almost halfway done. I'm going to knock this stream off in 40 minutes and go to bed because it's after midnight here in the East Coast in the upstate. So I'm going to get shit done and I go to sleep. I gotta be up early and go do some garage sales. I gotta find some more deals in the morning before I come home and offer some deals to people for their money. First card is a Ghastly, one of my favorite original Pokemon. I'm a big fan of all things Supernatural, of course, especially the show. So Ghastly, pretty cool. Then we have an Aeron. Looks like a little robotic dog of sorts. Next. We have a Dino. That's pretty cool looking. That's a new card too. A Dino.
different. Next we have a Star U. So we have Star Me and Star U now, two of the three evolutions of this specific Pokemon. I believe, I haven't kept track of it in recent years, so I don't know if they've evolved more than three times at this point, but as far back as I can remember, Star Me had a third evolution, and that was as far as it went. Next we have a Pump Kaboo. Pump Kaboo looks like a Golbat spinoff or some shit. And I think we're on to our next foil card. It is a foil Magikarp. With the blue background, nice and shiny. What do we have underneath? What do we have underneath? Can it be our first holographic of the night? Will it be another GX? What's it gonna be? Come on, give us a legendary Pokemon. Underneath the full magic carp we have. A common card, maybe uncommon. S Cavalier is his name or its name it's a nice looking card i like it but i was hoping for something better no offense to x s cavalier next we have an energy then we have a haunter okay so we got the evolution of we got the second evolution of ghastly the haunter that's cool. I like that. Specific Pokemon I like to have the whole evolution of, so it doesn't matter if it's a common card or not. Okay, we got a Trainer Fighting Memory, which we opened in the first pack earlier. Ooh! And we got a Stage 1 Hackamo. That's our final card in the pack. It's a pretty cool looking card. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, never fear. That is only the halfway point. We still have four more packs. Let's open double pack number three and get moving on. Let's hope for some more luck like we had in the first pack. Another GX. Come on, baby. We want another GX. We want a legendary GX this time, though. We want a legendary GX full art, maxed out, decked out, freaking untouchable 10 out of 10 you know what i'm saying fat gay pikachu okay add the pen to the collection i'm gonna have to start putting these things in something and get them out of this drawer this drawer is gonna be full of pokemon pens okay sun and moon pack number three is about to be underway hello mad jay no, no codes, man. Sorry, dude. Nicholas Alves Lopez, what's up? Welcome to the stream, guys. Thanks for stopping in. Happy Friday to you. We are opening pack number three of Sun and Moon right now. We haven't had a holographic or a GX in a minute. Hopefully this pack contains one. We're about to find out. It's the first card. The Cosmog. Interesting little artwork. The Cosmog. Moving on. Behind door number two, we have a Litten. Litten is our little lava kitty that we have probably about 10 of by now because I've bought like 600 cards in the last three weeks. This is a lot of freaking cards, yo. I got a problem. But it's so fun! Okay, after Litten, we have a Psyduck. Psyduck is one of the more puzzling original Pokemon. 
ladies and gentlemen, Psyduck. Okay, next we have a Bound Sweets we already saw. We have a Lily Pup that we already saw. And here comes the next foil. What is it? Ooh! We got a foil litten. I like that. I like that. That's my favorite foil of the night and probably one of my favorite foils I have so far. The red matching background. That's a cool card. I like it. You might not like it, but I like it. That's definitely one of my favorite foils that I have. And I have probably like 100 or so foils already. If not more than that. Especially with this other collection I bought tonight. Underneath the foil lit and we have... Another lantern. Then we have an energy. Then we have a trainer crushing hammer, which we already saw. Then we have a Torah cat, which we already saw. Then we have a trainer energy switch, which we'll take a quick peek at. I know we have seen this in the other streams because I already have it. But we try to show every new card in every stream and just not duplicates if we can help it. But nobody's perfect, right? Next we have, that's the end of the pack. Okay, so that was an unsuccessful pack, but I do like the red lit, and that was very cool. Very cool. Water, talking too much, need to hydrate. Slaughtered a whole bottle of water in like 27 minutes. We have three packs remaining, guys. 30 cards. Give us three good ones out of 30. Come on now. I bought 80 cards and you're going to give me one good card. You might want to be giving me some freaking holographic or something in these next three packs, y'all. All right, so we get a Salandit. Salandit's actually a pretty awesome looking Pokemon for a basic. I like it. I like it a lot. Salandit. Moving on. Oh, we get a Cubone. I got a holographic uh, Cubone, I believe, the other day. That was really cool. I like Cubone. Cubone's cool. Another original Pokemon, Cubone. Moving on. A Weedle. Weedle is another original, and I know I already have this card, or at least a version of Weedle from the set. I remember seeing that last night. The little Weedle, the harmless caterpillar. Next we have a Mencino, which looks like a little mouse bunny rabbit hybrid. This should be our foil card. Nope, it's the next one. My bad, I'm jumping the gun. This is a core fish. It's a crab, yo. It's a crab. I'm starting to get tired too, so this is gonna be a good time to finish this up. All right, our foil card is. Come on, give us another nice one. Okay. Okay, so our foil card is a Starly, but it looks like it has a special type of artwork. I've noticed a few cards, even common ones, every now and then. The artwork looks different. I don't know how else to explain it. You have to look at it for yourself. But I feel like this has a different style of artwork on it, and it's a Starly foil card. So let's see what's underneath the Starly. Can we get something? Come on, baby. Give it to us. Now, if that was a holographic, that would have been a really nice card. I would have been really happy, but it's not a holographic. It's a gorilla looking dude. His name is Oranguru. Oranguru. Kind of a cool uncommon. I like it, but yeah, another failed pack. We still have only found one legendary card so far. But Rangaru, that's cool. I like him. He's cool looking. Then we have our energy, of course. A Kakuna, which I believe is one of Caterpie's evolutions. Maybe the first one. And 
then we have a trainer, Osamine. Her hair is longer than her freaking body is tall. I don't know how she walks like that, but okay. That should be it for this pack. Oh, no, we have a Haunter, which we already saw. And that's it. So, next is the final two pack of the stream. And at the end of the stream, I'm gonna show you guys something real quick that I bought tonight too. Let's open this last double pack up real quick. I hopped on Facebook tonight and uh, as soon as I got out of work, I hopped on Facebook and somebody had posted a Pokemon card collection 20 minutes before I jumped on. I messaged if it was still available. It was. It was an hour and seven minutes away, unfortunately, but I had a feeling about it. So I went and grabbed it. And uh, I'm not going to sit here and show you seven or eight hundred cards I bought, but they're already in uh, binders, the good ones. And I can show you some of the good ones real quick on the camera. So we'll do that in a moment once we get done with these last two packs. And uh, then I'm going to go get some sleep. But first, let's do pack number four, Sun and Moon. Here we go! Ladies and gentlemen, these are the final two packs of the stream. Give us something good. Come on now. Give us something good. The first card up is an original Pokemon. It is a Paris. A little crab looking mofo, you know? Paris. <laughs> Moving on. We get a Fero. A stage one Fero is the second card. That's cool. Normally your first four or five cards are always basic cards. That's a stage one Fero. That's a nice looking little card. That makes me believe that there could be something else good in this stack. Let's find out. Next card up is another Litten, which we've already seen. Next we have a Young Goose. I have a few of them. I feel like I showed one actually earlier tonight, but maybe not. So we have a Young Goose. It's like a Mongoose, but a Young Goose. Not a Mongoose, but like a Mongoose, a Young Goose. Okay, next we have... A Surse Kit. That, I believe, could be a new one. I think. I think Surse Kit is a new one. A little octopus looking thing. And our next foil card is... A Trainer, Professor Kukui. Shiny, shiny. Like baby's hiney, shiny, shiny. That's our foil. What do we have underneath? Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I think, I think the next card could be a decent one. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure though. But I know that I peeked at one corner. And it is not a yellow border. That much I do know. And I'm pretty sure I saw some shiny shit all over it. If that has any resemblance of anything. So, without further ado, I bring to you... What do we have under the Foil Professor Kukui Trainer card? We have a... Oh my goodness! I am a very, very happy man tonight. Okay, so, underneath Professor Kukui, we had a Stage 1 Gumshoes GX. That is an awesome looking card. And we got two GX out of eight packs. I guess we can't really complain with that bad boy. So tonight was, in my opinion, a far superior, much more successful night to last night's 10 packs, even though we only had eight tonight. The thing that would top tonight off with this final pack of Crimson Invasion 
would be a really awesome holographic or maybe one more GX. So stay tuned, we have one more pack of Crimson Invasion, but that is an awesome, awesome GX. I like it. That's cool. Awesome. So we got two GXs out of eight packs tonight. That's 25%. I really don't think you can complain about that with the significant rarity of the cards. 25% is probably a pretty high ratio. Pretty high percent. And then we have a Brion, which has that kind of like different art that I've expressed already earlier. Brion. So that's cool, man. We got two GXs. We still got one more pack to open. We get a, a Krokorok. He looks like a pretty smooth criminal. Do 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 Krokorok. Okay, moving on. We have a Polipper, which looks like a Pelican. Or, uh, what's the other one there for Fruit Loops? Um, starts with a T, don't it? Here's the Pelipper, moving on. That is it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on to the final pack. But, you know what? I'm pretty happy overall. We got a couple awesome looking GXs. I like them both a lot. Give me a holographic in the final pack or one more GX and it was a very, very successful night. Our first card is an Aeron, which we already saw. Second, we have a Staryu, which we already saw. Third, we have, ooh, that's new. It's basic, but that's new. It's a little mini dinosaur looking thing. It's called Jangmo. Toucan Sam, that is correct. Mr. Otaku, thank you very much, sir. That is our Jangmo. Ladies and gentlemen, the little Jangmo. Doesn't look very very harmful. You never know though. Next we have a Phoebus. Okay. That's kind of a creepy looking little critter. Phoebus. Before we get to our last foil card and possible legendary card. Thank you all very much for your continued support, love, and dedication as always. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Thank you for each and every individual like on the stream. I like you too. And I will be streaming Warzone tomorrow and Sunday. And uh, hey, you never know. Maybe I'll stumble on some uh, good stuff this weekend and we'll have some more Pokemon cards to look at on stream. It could happen. It might not, but it could. So thanks again for everything. Thanks for coming in and checking out the stream. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely did. Let's finish this final pack. We're about to get to our final foil card of the night here in just a second. But first we get a Stuffle. Little, another little puppy looking critter playing in the flowers and shit. He's got a smile on his face. He looks like a happy little fellow, doesn't he? Scuffle. Moving on. We have. Ooh. Ooh we. We have one of the most badass coolest looking foils that I've got so far to date. I don't even know how to pronounce this dude's name. I don't even know how to pronounce this dude's name. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and make your own assumption on this dude's name. But that dude is awesome. I like this foil very much. That's a very cool foil. Happy to have it. Regigigus. 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 The Tormentor. That's a cool foil. Final foil of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Got another nice little set of foil cards tonight. And what? What? is under that awesome foil. Could we possibly have another small stroke of luck tonight and land another GX or maybe the only holographic of the night? Let's find out. Underneath Regigigas, we have a yellow border, a common card, okay. Well, it's a stage one, so it's kind of slightly uncommon. It's a Wiggly Tough. So we got Jigglypuff and Wiggly Tough tonight. 
Wigglytuff. So I'm happy with the cards we got. We got two GXs, can't complain. I'm, I'm successful tonight. And we get a Haunter. Haunter, I believe, is the third evolution of Ghastly. So we got all three evolutions of Ghastly tonight. That's cool. For this series, anyhow. Haunter, one of my all-time favorites. We get a Trainer Fighting Memory that we saw earlier. We get another hack a mole that we saw earlier. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Stop and check out our Warzone streams. Maybe some more Pokemon streams this weekend. If not, there will be uh, definitely next weekend. Probably Friday night, actually. I'll probably find something. Stay safe. Take it easy. Have fun. Enjoy responsibly. Thanks for chilling with Killing Time, baby. A.K.A. Crimson Sensei. Oh, yeah. Good night, everyone. Later. Get some good sleep. Peace. Good night, Otaku. Those were a couple awesome GXs, weren't they? I'm loving it. Um... Monkey D. Dude, what's up? It's been a hot minute. I'm not sure who you are by that name. I don't recognize Monkey D from the chat. But uh, if you'd like to tell me what your name that I know you by is, I would recognize who you are. But it's, it's cool. How's it going? Welcome back to the stream. Thanks for stopping in. I just finished opening up eight packs of Pokemon cards. We got a couple goodies. early and go we'll find some relics out in the wild man you know that's what we do but first let me show you guys this real quick I went out and bought these cards off this guy tonight I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid for them but I got them cheap there's probably like five or six hundred cards in total but he had these the binder. Some pretty good stuff there, I'm thinking. <sighs> Tired, man. I know these are all cards from the most recent series and all, but they're still extremely rare, hard to find cards, man. And you know, collectors want these cards. These are the types of cards you're looking for right here. You know, it doesn't matter what they're worth right now or whatever to a collector, they're worth a lot. They're nice cards, you know? So I just wanted to show you guys that as part of a pretty massive new collection, like a really big collection of just the new cards that this guy had in a short amount of time. I want to show you guys those, and uh, again, I'll catch you later on. Take it easy. Thanks for chilling, killing time. Peace, baby. Later.